Ladies and gentlemen, I had hoped that it would not come to this, but after observing many people using their handheld walkie-talkies the wrong way, and as a licensed GMRS operator for over eight years, I decided that it was time to do a how to not do it wrong video. The good news is that this should not be a very long video because ladies and gentlemen, let us not fool ourselves. Using a handheld walkie talkie radio is not that difficult. However, if you are new to the exciting and dynamic world of GMRS radio, ham radio, or even CB radio, then stick around because you might just learn something. As you can see, for demonstration purposes, I am using a Boofwang UV5R, but irregardless, these techniques that I am about to teach you apply to all handheld walkie-talkie radios. The first step in using your walkie-talkie radio is to always ensure that your battery is fully loaded and securely installed. If the battery in your walkie-talkie radio is deficient in electricities, it could malfunction unexpectedly. Step number three, ensure that the radio is powered on. And then locate the transmit trigger mechanism. This is sometimes also referred to as the push to talk button. After locating the transmit trigger button, do not put your finger on it until you are ready to transmit. If the other radio that you are trying to transmit to is right across the street or in the car behind you, then much of what I am about to tell you does not matter. Just push the transmit trigger and talk. However, as you get more fars away from the other radio, and as there is more stuff between you and that other radio, more stuff like trees, buildings, or houses full of calorie enhanced people, the more of that stuff that is there between your radio and the other radio, the more important it is to do everything correctly while transmitting on your walkie talkie radio. First of all, it is very important that you hold the radio correctly when transmitting. That is in a vertical fashion relative to the ground and your face with the antenna pointed straight up toward the sky. Holding your radio this way will ensure that all of the RF electricities go as high up toward the firmament dome as possible as they squirt out of the antenna. Next, whenever possible, always ensure that you are facing the direction of the other radio of which you wish to talk to. If the other radio is behind you, when you press the transmit trigger, your head may block, or as the experts would say, your head may attenuate the RF electricities as they squirt out of the antenna. Facing the direction of the other radio can prevent this attenuation, therefore allowing more of the RF electricities to reach their intended destination. Hold the radio near your face, but not directly in front of your noise hole. Instead, hold the radio just slightly off axis from your noise hole at a distance of about two to three inches. Next, press the trigger button and then wait. Allow me to repeat that because many people struggle with this part. Press the trigger button and then wait for about one half of a second. More experienced radio operators may wait for a full second. However, that is optional. Half of a second should be long enough. Then only after waiting at least half a second, whilst still pressing the trigger button, then begin to speak. Allow me to go over that last part again, because this is a point that a lot of people struggle with. Press the button, wait, and then talk. Say it with me now. Press the button, wait, and then talk. The reason for this complicated procedure is that some radios have a slight delay after you press the trigger button before they begin to transmit. And some radios have a slight delay before they begin to receive. And it is your job as the transmitter to ensure that you do not start talking before the other radio is able to hear you. So never forget, press the button, 
wait, then talk. Whilst doing your talking, it is very important that you enunciate your words properly and project your voice. This means speak clearly and loudly, just like you do when you're talking on your cell phone in the middle of the grocery store or at the movies. Do not whisper and do not mumble, or you will sound like an idiot. Whilst speaking, ensure that you maintain the previously mentioned distance of two to three inches from your noise hole and do not allow the walkie-talkie to drift away from your noise hole as you speak. After you have fully completed saying whatever it is that you had to say over the walkie-talkie radio, remove your finger from the transmit trigger and listen for a response. If the person that you are transmitting to complains that you are coming in weak or staticky, or if they cannot hear you at all, an advanced method you can try is to hold the radio up higher as you press the transmit trigger. As you do this, look upward and move the radio higher up in relation to the ground, whilst ensuring that the antenna remains pointing upward. Be sure to speak loudly and clearly because the radio will now be further from your noise hole. If you are many fars away from the other radio and if you are stretching the limit of how many fars your radio can talk, Properly executing all of these techniques becomes even more important. And always be aware that there will be times when the other radio is simply too many fars away, or there is too much stuff between you and the other radio, which may prevent you from communicating with the other radio altogether. In a situation such as this, seek higher ground and try again, move closer to the other radio, or just use your cell phone. Congratulations, you are now a YouTube certified walkie-talkie radio expert. To receive a certificate that you can hang on your refrigerator so that your entire family can be proud of you, just leave a comment below.